square miles is massive and Huge. to be burning that long with all the rain that we've had that's flown through a lot of areas that's amazing and the satellite view that we have at the new goes 16 it's very high end uh, as far as the, the quality of pictures you can see that smoke going out over the atlantic ocean it's crazy how big it is and as you look at what's happening here we have nothing but crystal clear blue skies gorgeous right now up and down 280 unless you're in traffic 82 now winds out of the north at five Dew point now at 48, but let's check conditions across the rest of central Alabama, where it's 80 in Anniston, 82 for Tuscaloosa and in downtown Birmingham. Light northerly breeze at about 5, but we have high pressure, which is settling in, and it is not going to move much over the next couple of days. The only spots we have in the 70s now are Coleman as well as Gadsden, where we have upper 70s. I'd correct that. Alex City right now down on the lake here at 79. And we have no rain anywhere across the southeast in Alabama. The eastern half of the U.S. is pretty well dry, but out across the Rockies and just east of the Rockies, they're dealing with severe thunderstorms and tornadoes today. Here across the southeast, though, overnight tonight, not much going on. Maybe a couple of high clouds will pass through as we get into the 11, 12 o'clock time frame. But then tomorrow morning, pretty good looking start as we go through the day. Temperatures will start to warm back up again with high pressure. It means air will sink, it will warm up, and with plenty of sunshine, we'll be into the upper 80s, especially from I-65 towards the west. Eastward, not quite as warm, but it's still going to be a very uh, pleasant day for a good portion of the day. It's just going to really heat up. And then on Wednesday by 5 o'clock, look at all the upper 80s, even across East Alabama, close to 90 in Tuscaloosa. I think that we will at least hit 90 possibly 91 degrees because of the fact the atmosphere is set up the way it is. So for the rest of this evening, if you're headed to the ballpark, good news, clear skies. Temperatures will start to cool off because the atmosphere is still somewhat dry. And then tomorrow, a high of 87 with sunny skies. Again, very warm, winds variable at about 5 to 10. Here's your storm track seven day. A chance of a shower late Thursday, but then showers and thunderstorms likely on Friday. I just don't see that this will be a big severe weather potential at this point. We'll watch it carefully, but it looks like a decent shot of rain and a good heavy rain. And then Saturday looks good. Sunday for Mother's Day, 84 degrees. Don't forget moms out there. That's happening this weekend, and the weather will be 